Sporting associations in Singapore are calling for more support and recognition for lesser-known sports like pickleball and chookball. They've been growing in popularity locally over the last few years. And the associations want to further expand the reach of these games. Geraldine Yap finds out more. It's been hailed as one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Here in Singapore, pickleball has picked up tremendously in the last few years. And these players are taking the sport beyond just the grassroots level. They're now part of Singapore's first national team, which clinched a bronze in the 35-plus category at the recent Asia Pickleball Games. One reason for the sport's popularity is how easy it is for players of any age to get started. Started. Even I was able to play a few rallies with just 10 minutes of coaching. But challenges remain in growing the sport further, such as the limited funding and training facilities. The peak period is uh, we are in competition with other types of sports and uh, the peak period is suitable for working adults, uh, maybe children. Huh? So we hope uh, we, to get more uh, Peak period uh, courts. With the Active SG support, actually we get more and more access to pickleball court in different areas like the sport hall. Yeah, the sport halls uh, they they do purpose it badminton and pickleball. Yeah, last time is purely badminton. Still, the Singapore Pickleball Association is confident that the sport will continue to grow and eventually be recognised at major sporting events. Another lesser-known sport that Singapore is quietly making waves in is chookball. Its women's team is currently world number one, while the men's team is third. But chookball still faces challenges in being recognised as a high-performance sport. The Chookball Association of Singapore wants to emulate the success of floorball in getting the sports included in major games. I know that the, the GM and the council uh, travel to the different countries to lobby floorball. And eventually they got it at the exhibition game and then at, when Singapore hosted the, the last sea game, they were featured. Uh, and I, I think now it's considered a medal sports. So if we look at their model, if we study their model, I think eventually we hope that we can get there. A first step would be to get chookball into the national school games. The association says this will help bring more students into the sport, which will form a talent pipeline for the national team.